Hey there you guys and welcome back to my channel. Peter Gay Barrett here with Barrett Fitness Enterprises and today I would like to show you five jump rope fundamentals for beginners. But if this is your first time checking out my channel you guys, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Share this video, like this video, hit that little belly thingy so every time I put out a video you guys will get an alert. Also leave me a comment. Let me know how you like this video. Let me know how you don't like this video. The Joe Probe Challenge is still going on you guys over on um, Facebook and on Instagram. So go ahead, grab your jump rope and join the challenge. It's never too late. We're doing at least 20 minutes of jump rope every single day for the month of May. But I also have five fundamentals for you on how to get started on your jump rope. So let's get into it. <laughs> Alrighty, you guys, so I'm gonna put my jump rope to the side. We're not necessarily on fundamental number one, but one of the things I always tell people when you're beginning a jump rope, not necessarily a fundamental because you're not jumping the rope yet. Put the jump rope to the side and just start with jumping. All you're doing, you guys, is jumping up and down. That's all you're doing. And just find yourself a rhythm. Find you a pace that you're comfortable with and jump up and down before you even pick up the jump rope you guys so here we go we're just jumping up and down nothing too crazy nothing too fancy so it's a great way to find your beat and find your rhythm and then we'll get into the fundamentals of jumping rope so here we go alrighty you guys so here we go with fundamental number one you want to make sure that you have the right length of jump rope for your height. You don't want a jump rope that's too long or you don't want a jump rope that's too short for you. So I would recommend getting a jump rope that is adjustable. And this jump rope that I have, this is actually a speed rope, pretty lightweight, um, easy to use for beginners. But I made sure that I got one that is adjustable. So to find out or to check to make sure that you have the right length of jump rope for your height, you are going to step in the dead center of the jump rope and you want to make sure that both sides are even. The jump rope, the end of the jump rope need to touch your chest or your nipples. That's how you know you have the right length of jump rope for your height. The handle of the jump rope can come past your chest a little bit, but you want to make sure that on both sides, the jump rope are even. You want to make sure that the jump rope touches your nipple, and that's a way to know that you have the right length of jump rope for your height. Again, you guys, you don't want a jump rope that's too long. You don't want a jump rope that's too short. Start with your basic jump rope that's adjustable, and make sure that the tip or the end of the actual jump rope touches your nipple and that is fundamental number one all righty you guys here we go with fundamental number two fundamental number two you guys jump rope on your toes do not jump rope flat-footed flat-footed jump rope is a recipe for disaster that's how you get injuries you want to jump rope on the ball of your foot onto your toes so you notice my heels do not touch the ground at all I am jumping rope on my toes and that's how I prevent my shins from fracturing and that's how I prevent injuries. Jumping rope on my toes, that's fundamental number two. Fundamental number three, you guys, do not bend your knees or bring your feet back to your butt when you're jumping rope, you guys. Again, that's how you get injuries, that's how you get shin splints, and it's just too heavy of an impact on your feet. You want to keep your legs as straight as you possibly can, jump off of your toes, you want to come off the ground maybe an inch and a half to two off the ground, not that. Too much wasted energy, it's a way of injuring yourself. You want to stay on your toes about two inches off the ground not four or five or six and this is fundamental number three only about inch and a half to two off the ground fundamental number four you guys you want to make sure that your hands are kicked out from your hips make sure that your hands are not coming forward or backwards behind your butt or in front of your stomach. As you can see, my hands 
both hands are evenly kicked out from my hip and both are even and that is fundamental number four you guys fundamental number five you guys proper posture it is my most important i wouldn't say it's the most important maybe your hand and your wrist are probably the most important but posture is very important you guys to have proper posture while doing jump rope you don't want to lean forward doing jump rope you don't want to lean backward doing jump rope you want to make sure your back is straight your core is engaged there's a helicopter going over your head you guys can't hear what i'm saying <laughs> Posture, you guys don't lean forward don't lean backward core engage back is straight your body is straight up and down you want to have proper posture not like that not like that and those are <laughs> five fundamentals for jump rope for beginners you guys let's jump some rope y'all so now that you know the five most Five of the most basic fundamentals for jump rope for beginners, you guys. Go ahead, grab your jump rope and join the challenge. Hop on over to Facebook and Instagram and start jump roping, you guys. You know how to measure the proper length of jump rope for your height. You know how high to jump off the ground. You know the proper body posture to have with your jump rope. You know where to place your arms, you guys. Go ahead, grab your jump rope. If you want to use jump rope for weight loss, want to use it for cardio or just for overall health you guys jump rope with me until next time you guys if you haven't already 